So I'm just going to quickly show you some tests that I've been working on. These tests work absolutely fine on Windows. Now I'm on my Mac, some of the tests are failing. So what I'm doing in this session is investigating why the test is failing. So the first thing I have to do is run the test so I can see what the issue is. Now just some, some background. This is a, a kind of academic exercise that I use in my training courses for testing the to-do MVC application. And in this particular test, all I'm trying to do is mark an item complete. So you saw there the test ran, it created some to-do items, it did mark it as complete. Then we tried to filter the list and the click on the filter didn't work. So the first thing I do is go into debug mode. I can see I want to break point on the clicking of the filter on complete to see why it's not working. And bear in mind that this test works on Windows, exactly the same test, it's running against Firefox, exactly the same version. The only difference is uh, we're running on Mac. It's the exact same window, uh, version of, it's the exact same version of WebDriver. The only difference is we're running on Mac. So I'll go into debug mode and see what is happening. And there's nothing clever being shown in this video. I'm just going through the process that I go through when I'm doing debugging so you get a feel for what we do. So I have breakpointed on the line that I want to do. I'm going to step into it. Now, it doesn't matter if you understand this code or not, but in the background you can see that there's a whole bunch of abstractions that I'm using, which hopefully means that when I make this change in one place, the rest of the tests that are failing, or at least some of the tests that are failing, will start working again. So I'm going to step into this filter on complete. I can see that I'm then delegating that through into another page object to filter it. So I can see here that I'm doing a find elements on uh, filters with a list item. So if I jump back over to Firefox and we do a quick inspect, I prefer to do this in Firebug because then I can use the proper fire path and actually uh, issue the CSS selectors that I'm using but we'll get away with it with the inbuilt inspect tool. So I can see here, there's the ID filters, then I've got the list coming through, and then within each list, there's an anchor. Now it could be that I need to actually select on the anchor tag rather than the list, and that would be completely feasible here because each list only has one anchor in it. So I'm gonna do the find elements to make sure we've actually found the right number of elements. So there we go, it populates that into filters. There's three in there, so I'm gonna assume those are the correct ones. So what I'm gonna do is I'm not just gonna run this statement, I'm going to evaluate this statement. I quite like using the evaluate expression when I'm doing debugging. So if I actually evaluate this, let's, so we found some filters, I'm going to evaluate this click, which will cause the click to happen. And so the click has happened over here. It's just that there hasn't been any impact of that click. So I'm going to check the theory that perhaps I don't want to click on the list here. I want to click on the anchor. So I'm going to do that by, if we remember our API, we know that a web element has a find element command on it to allow us to chain find elements. So I'm going to do find element. I'm just going to do a quick hack to find it by the tag name. And we're just going to find the anchor. And then we'll click on that and see if that makes a difference. Right. So in evaluate mode, I can see that by changing the CSS selector that I want to make it much more specific, on Windows, Firefox, and the driver are working fine by letting me click on the list item. When moving to the Mac, I have to be more specific about the CSS selector, and instead of finding the ID filters, then the list item, really, I should be finding the anchor. So having made that change to the CSS selector in there, if I rerun that test now, we'll see if that makes a difference. Right, good, so that test passed now. So the difference there was, on Windows it works fine with the slightly looser CSS selector. When I move on to the Mac, it has exposed the weakness in my initial um, test and abstraction there, and I had to make the CSS selector that little bit more specific. So let's remind you again, 
instead of just doing a click on the list item, I had to click on the actual anchor. Now it's a good reminder that we want to make our CSS selectors and locators as specific as possible to actually click or manipulate the web elements that the user would be working with, the actual anchors, uh, and work with those rather than rely on the events being passed through and di propagate down through the hierarchy. Let's click on the actual tag that we want to work with. So hopefully that quick debug session was useful. What you saw was the difference in running the test between Mac and Windows, the investigation process, putting it into breakpoints, debugging through to get to the line. You saw me use the evaluate functionality to actually experiment while I'm in debug mode. And then you saw me make the change and rerun the test to check that it works.